So this is a Samsung Galaxy S2. We've replaced uh, the default Android operating system with uh, Bootjagecko OS, and everything starting from the lock screen is all HTML5. Uh, the lock screen itself is a web page. It's going to go ahead and unlock that. The home screen is also a web page. Uh, you can tap here, you can view the source. It's, it's real, CSS, uh, HTML, and JS. Um, we, we support all the existing web technologies, like WebGL. So this is one app that uses WebGL to render uh, a 3D skull. Um, so as you can see, it's some pretty intense image processing, but it's really smooth. You're getting 60 FPS. Uh, so performance is not a problem uh, for HTML apps. Uh, in some cases, there were not there were no APIs uh, existing to do some of the things to access low-level hardware. For example, uh, the camera is a good example. There was no API to uh, access the camera. So we added a new JavaScript API so that you can get access to the camera. This is just a canvas tag so using JavaScript to get the frames from the camera, painting it on the canvas. Um, Similarly, we had um, to add APS for the telephony. So the dialer app just uses JavaScript to make phone calls. Um, you can just view the source here. Um, so, that, so that's that. Um, we also have an app marketplace uh, where you, users can go and buy new uh, HTML5 apps. We support paid apps, free apps. Um, we already have some third-party apps. Um, Tower Jelly is a good example. So this is uh, another game that's built using HTML5. Uh, you get you get good performance. Like um, it, it looks and feels like a native app. You can't tell that it's a web app, except when you press this button and you look at the source. Um, so, so that's the two things that will probably be most interesting to you.